okay for us to be anti-Semitic. Which is which is actually Ben Charlestein, <laughs> and he's had a change. Well, it's actually Ben Ruben Charlestein. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Wow. Yes. All right. well, secrets come out all the time around I here, man. Know. But yeah, if at you're least oh, not. But but yeah, they should have dropped a K if they wanted to keep it. I think that was fair. Probably because it's centered around the fuck off instead of the fuck offy. Right. That wasn't a cuss word, man. I was just reading that first <laughs> half of the thing. That wasn't. I, I'm just I, sitting here. I've already got to check the box anyway. Well, we're, we're about to get a lot more offensive because we teased. Oh, yay. We, <laughs> we teased before the break more fecal news in Asia. Introducing, of course, introducing the Chinese dessert that shits out of its ass. That, what? What? They have it's a, it's a Sanrio themed pop up cafe in Hong Kong at a grocery store where there's a character that you can buy that's a dessert called Gudetama does its business. You poke it, you give it a squeeze, <laughs> and out comes the hot fudge. Oh. Oh yeah. Well, Here. Let me show this to you. Hold on. Hold on. Here it is. You ready? Oh, it's a video too. You ready? Look. There's a dessert. You squeeze it, and out comes the poo-poo right out of the Can bongi. we please have somebody call us from it's Japan fudge. to explain why you guys are so into the poo-poo? And you, this is in China. And it vomits out the mouth. Well, this ma- is in China. It, it also vomits too? out the mouth when you squeeze it. <laughs> oh, this is China? <laughs> this is in China. I, I, this article here, I love... It looks like Pokemon taking a deuce. Have you gone through and read the rest of the article here, though? Or Pikachu, actually. No. It says, because it's the, it's the... I respect their consistency and admire their greatness because it's the type of can't stop being weird as shit, won't stop being weird as shit attitude that makes them so much fun to blog about. <laughs> like when this museum exhibit is all about shit opened up in Japan, like we talked about a oh couple yeah, months ago. Yeah. Or when they're hosting some casual penis festivals and it's people walking around with a giant penis on their shoulder. With little out. kids hanging out. Or li- literally any of their game shows or literally anything uh, uh, Minenori Kawasaki has ever done or said. Oh, God. Yeah, then there's the video of it. Hey, do you know yeah. what? Do you know what? Uh, do you know what you you ask for when you order it? What? Can I get the number two? <laughs> <laughs> that goes with that whole number. I wonder thing. what does it taste like though. They never fail. It tastes like fudge. That should taste <sighs> like poo. I, I look, man. I I don't know. Is it is it funny? Oh, this is great. I mean, because if, if they're going for humor with it, I think it's hilarious. It's been quite some time since the wonderful people of Asia have tried to out bizarro themselves. And by quite some time, I mean, like, at least 24 hours. But here they are at it again, coming at, and I quote, coming at 100 mirrors per hour with a hefty load of bizarreness. <laughs> it's it's disturbing. Well, it's good writing. All right, we're going to jump to a break. We're trying to get Lord Cheese to call in. If you're listening, let us go to break. When we get back, we'll have you call in. We'll text you the number to call. I don't know how you don't know how to freaking call since we yep. say the goddamn number. He's, he's trying to Skype to Skype. Pick, up, pick up that Obama phone and give us a call. Yeah, man. but, but hang on. We're going to jump to a commercial. When we get back, we've got some NFL news to get into. I think we'll tie in nicely with Stacy's call because I, he was giving us some news on Tottenham, the Hotspur, and what's going on with their NFL involvement. Doug Martin in the news. Of Tampa Bay Bucks fame, okay. mm-hmm. who no longer wants to be called Muscle Hamster. Still, he, he's got a <laughs> who still doesn't. He never wanted to be called Muscle. <laughs> no, but he's got. He has decided to give himself a new nickname that we're all supposed to abide by. Okay, that's good. And you're not supposed wait. to self gloss. So if we your will name get is into Muscle this. Hamster. You should give it a shot. So we're going to get into this when we get back. All Ukrainians, stay with us. Do you feel like Mother Nature has made a mistake? Does your outward appearance differ from the person within? The Gender Reassignment Center may have a solution for you. Dr. Wes Johnson is the leading expert in sex reassignment surgery. So if you suffer from gender identity disorder, why not call our office for a free consultation? Hi, I'm Susan, but I wasn't born that way. Dr. Les Johnson performed a vaginoplasty and Adam's apple shading that would fool even the most sober of men. The recovery period exceeded my expectations, and the best of all, I don't have to grow out a thick bush to hide that unwanted scar tissue. Whether I want to go to the landing strip or a Brazilian, my JJ is a okay. The Gender Reassignment Center offers affordable pay plans and can assist with relocation for those seeking a new start. So call us at one five 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 new unit to begin your transformation. Tired of putting up with those wimpy cell phone cases? Do you want a case that will withstand the direct impact of a rocket launcher? You know what you need? You need Insano Case. Insano Case. Insano case is made out of adamantium and vibranium, so this case is 
and indestructible. With Insano Case, your phone can. It can assist in knocking out walls for home renovation. Take out a tank. You can hone the edge of a thousand-year-old katana. It can even dry shave the beard off Chuck Norris. At Insano Case, we've spared no expense. We flew it up and we dropped it from space. With absolutely no damage to the phone inside. If you call now, we'll include all five colors. Just for a separate processing and handling. And if you combine all five colors, you can make the Power Rangers Megazord. Call us now to get your Insano case today at 1555 Insano 1. Get your Insano case today! Big Muffins! Yo, this Big Muffin, what you do? You get caught tripping? Miss Court, you got a warrant? No matter what you did, you got cash, Big Muffin's got your ass. Day or night, we'll keep your butthole right. Call 1555 Butt Right, Big Muffin's Bail Bond, service in Greater Central Florida. When I get a break from gallivanting around the world, checking out all them fancy sports, I like to hang out with my boys at the Cranial Mission Show, because they know how to get some trim. Cranial Mission Show, Ben Charles, the C-Square, Caleb Crispy, and the Reverend Joey T all hanging out listening to this god-awful intro song. When did country music... and a marble man. When did country musicians start rapping? Seriously. Better watch out for the boys in blue. Caleb, this is shit. <laughs> Seriously. Ain't it funny how rumors spread? Now this is shit. Know some shit y'all Seriously. don't know. You mad about your business, bitch. Watch your mouth. So you gotta add words in to make it more fun. When I listen to this song, I get a little nutter. All I wanna do is have some truffle butter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, this is Joe's anthem. <laughs> Cranial it's, Mission it's Show. It's called Dirt Road Anthem, but I'm gonna change it to uh, Reverend Joey T. Anthem. Hanging out. You can turn that down. Yeah. It's a little loud. <laughs> Rednecks. Jeez. No, no, Lou Bob, no. I didn't call you. Just <laughs> oh, God. Stay over there. Yeah, really. I think if you dig deeper in that fridge, there's some Natty Light. Way, Bob, way, way in the back. Lou Bob's still hanging out. Thankfully, we've managed to keep him off the mic for the most part. You never know when he's going to jump on. But uh, you want to be a part of the show, you can call in. It's 813-438-6068. We've got some sports news to get into. We were teasing the Doug Martin story. But before we get into that, uh, the, the, we now have an article out from USA Today. It's ranking the best and worst NFL coaches. Before we even get into the story, I know Bill Belichick's going to be considered one of the best. Yeah, he's number one. I mean, that's just a given. Yeah. The guy has put together an incredible empire. Love or hate the New York, the uh, New England Patriots, you got to give him props. Oh yeah, he's uh he's done great. It says here with at least half the half including the letters cheater. Wow. Hmm. But yeah, they uh uh said they put him at number one. I haven't read any more about that. I just read what ranking everybody was. But okay, so can I try to guess who the best ranked coaches are? Let's go top NFL. ten. Let's go top ten. Are they got ten. I thought. Uh, oh no, let's go. It's, a, it's just all thirty-two. But oh, yeah, I don't think we want to. Okay, so t- number one was Belichick. We're yep. ranking the top coaches in NFL. So okay. Belichick number one. Yep. Um, I don't know what the order is. I'm going to say Pete Carroll's probably in there somewhere. Number three. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm going to say Mike McCarthy's in there. Number six. Okay. Harbaugh, number seven. That's but you're talking about John Harbaugh. Well, he's the only one in the NFL yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking about John Harbaugh. Um, 
I was given the Jeopardy answer. We don't say the first name because you don't know it. I'm gonna throw <laughs> surprisingly. I'm gonna throw Rex Ryan in there because players like him. Uh, he is on the list, but I don't think he's in the top. He's not in the ten. Let me see. Players like Rex Ryan. No, let's see where he's at though. Andy Reid. Rex Ryan is twelve. Andy Reid is in the top ten. Yeah. He is players do uh, like Andy Reid. Four. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm thinking Jay Gruden's probably not on it. He's not probably one of the 10. worst. Yeah. Well, no, okay. you got the bottom ones too, right? Yeah. He's number thirty, so yeah, he's yeah. I figure he's, he's close he's, there. He's probably one of the least popular. Yep. Um, I'd like to start guessing on the least popular ones. Okay, though, go for it. Why don't you fill out who was the top? Well, let's five. do top ten. No, just tell us the top five. Let me get back to it. Hold on. I think we named all but one. It was Bill. Yeah. Who's yeah. number two? Mike Tomlin, Andy Reid. This is going down. Pete okay. Carroll. Okay. Tom Coughlin. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Bill Belichick. Really, Coughlin was number two. Number two. That's surprising. Yep. He he didn't used to be very popular. No, no, he had like uh, a epiphany and like changed. And he like, did, yeah. And then he did that one. Didn't he do that play where they hiked it? Uh, now, who was that? Uh, did that weird play where it was a punt, a fake punt? Wasn't that the New York Jets? I mean, Giants. I don't know. You guys didn't see this thing that was on? They've been joking about this forever. They they spread everybody out. They put a wide receiver out to the right with the ball, and it's supposed to like to draw people off sides. It's during a punt. And they're not supposed to hike the ball. Well, they hiked it, and they got him on, like, fourth and one. It was, you guys didn't see this play? No. This was two weeks ago. No. It was a very odd play. Very we'll, odd. we'll talk about it later. So so, so we, we get, we're going to try to guess at the bottom five. We already got Jay Gruden was in the bottom five. Yep. Um, hmm. Who's the coach of the 49ers right now? I don't even know his name. That big big dude. That oh, uh, Tom Sula. He's got Last name is Tom Sula. Yeah, Jim Tom Sula. He's is he in 25. the bottom five? Okay, he's not bottom five. Not bottom five. Um, Worse hmm. he's not in the bottom five after what he's nope. done. Nope. Lovey Smith, where's he? With is, oh, 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 I got one. Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly is not in the bottom five. No, because everybody's accusing him of being racist. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Why? What's going on? Well, you don't hear all those players that were. Chip well, Kelly's sixteen. Okay, so who are the bottom five? Bottom five at number thirty-two is uh, Jim Caldwell, the Lions. Really? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Gus Bradley, the Jags. Uh, Jay Gruden is thirty. Uh, Mike Patine, Patine, yeah, the Browns, yeah, and then Dan Campbell with the Dolphins, but he's not there anymore, is he? No, Dan Campbell just took over. Oh, he just took over. Okay, yeah, so that's kind of an unfair assessment because he just took over. And for he the won. Year. He won his first game. Not only won, he's the only undefeated coach good. on here. Actually, yeah, I mean, he should be number one. So this article is shit. Yeah, it's crap. This article doesn't mean anything. USA Today sucks with this. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we don't like your article, USA. I'm calling him out. This this sucks. More like USSR today. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> j- journalism has failed. He said no one is answering when he calls. Are you calling eight one three four three eight? No, he, he's he's got to he's got to befriend us first. On f- no, I'm not on Skype. If he just calls, no, he's him. trying to he's trying to Skype to Skype instead of no. But he said no oh. one is answering on the phone number. Well, he's pretty standoff. Stacy, dial eight one three four three eight sixty sixty eight. You won't have a problem unless you're using that pay as you go phone. <laughs> anyway, uh, Muscle Hamster we talked burner? about in the news. Doug Martin in the news. Never liked that name, which, uh, frankly, I think is a pretty cool nickname. And if you look at the guy, you look, he does kind of look like a hamster. Yeah, he's got fairly big cheeks. He's got kind of a goofy face, and yeah. he is very muscular. So, you know, look, it, it could be worse names. You look at, uh, what's his face from LSU, who was a uh, uh, honey badger, right? Well, Doug, Doug Martin now wants to be known as the Duggernaut, and he's called himself. He's referring to himself as that name. Do we have a call? Is that coming in? I think so, yeah. Is that what you were directing? Well... Maybe, maybe not. We have an <coughs> operator error from Stacy here. Yep. You know hey. something, though? Nicknames are funny because it all depends on who gave you the nickname and what context it is. But you don't get to give yourself a nickname. No, I agree with you. But, you know, the thing was somebody probably made up the muscle hamster and didn't mean it in a nice way. So, like, if that was told, if your friends made that up, like when you were out joking, drink. Somebody's I on hear the phone. something on Yeah, there. he's on. Okay, yeah. I mean, you don't get to give yourself uh, your own nickname. For example, your new nickname is Truffle Butter. You don't get to choose that. <laughs> right, TB? Do, you, do, we, do we want to talk about last week or no? No, we don't want to no. talk about <laughs> it. Okay, okay. Do, no, it was this my, week. But what's no. my nickname? It's uh, The Reverend. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, we got Lord Cheese on the phone. Lord Cheese, how are you today, buddy? I'm a very good gentleman. How are you? Doing well, sir. Doing well. What is that background noise? It sounds like you're flogging a dolphin or something. Seriously. <laughs> It's a, it's a drink. That's ice. Oh, okay. oh, you're stirring your drink. Are you uh, calling from the Cheese Manor, my good man? I am indeed a Cheese Manor. Then why are you making your own drink? I'm not making my own drink. I'm drinking my own drink. 
He, he's like Reggie Jackson. He's the stir that straw that stir. Uh, he's a straw that stirs the drink, if you would please. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not against stirring my own drink, making it. Up.